Welcome to another YouTube channel. My name is Daniel. Today I will be color grading this image in Capture One and we touch it on Photoshop. This was an image I shot a couple of days ago with my Fujifilm XH1. I shot at 5,300 Kelvin, IC 250, shot at 250 and the aperture. I wanted to have a large amount of blurriness between the subject, the model, and the backdrop. So, let us dive in directly. First and first, let me change my window to something more Lightroom like. Okay, what I'm using is the migration window setup. You can get it on workspace migration. So it will give you that Lightroom feel and charge everything that I need. In one panel. So first and first, we need to fix the white balance. This is how I shot it. And if you go down to the basic characteristics, you will see it's just generic for Fujifilm. So there's a way I use to fix my white balance. First, I will heat up the saturation to the highest. Then I take my tint from 1 to 20 is okay. Let's say 9 is fine. So I'll move this until every of my, the colors in my pictures are what they are supposed to be. Like white will be white, the skin tone will be the skin tone. Or something of that nature, so I'll just reduce my, my saturation. So, see the before, see the after. There's more blue, I will just add in some orange. Okay, so this is how I like it. I can reduce the tint a bit. So this is fine by me. I love my image that to have that cold feel. So go to the highlights, take it down a bit. The whites. Then pop up the exposure slightly. So much. Add a little bit of color. That one is fine. The brightness. I don't think I need the saturation. I'll reduce the black a bit. I'll reduce the black a bit. So, I don't think I need more shadows from the image. So, and a little quarry too. The hairs. And choose the color I want to frame. Let's add in a bit. So this is the base before and after. So I'll go to my levels, drag in my whites. And add a little pinch of black. It's 
So as you can see, the skin tones, they are not matching. Some part of our body is not that kind of some other parts of our body. But we'll fix that when we are working on the color editor. So, so far, this is what we have done from this to this, from this to this. Actually, the guy was shooting the image, this was actually the way I saw it. This is the way I saw it, but I shoot at this curve so that the image will look more presentable behind the camera LCD. Right. So my call, like I come to my lunar call, increase this point. Okay, too much. Reduce the dots. So why I love using Luma, it doesn't affect the color, it just affects only the highlights and the shadows without affecting the colors. Okay, that's nice. So I usually work with Fuji film. Let me get it here. Fujifilm stimulators, simulation of the stimulator. So I love classic phone. So I can put it on a, a new field layer. Then I can select classic phone. Then reduce this slightly. So for other camera users, you can see your camera seems and you can use the one that you want. So, so far so good. Let's go to the color. I can open a new field adjustment layer. Then let's go to the color editors. So first, I want to work on the background. I think I love a brighter blue. Increase it a bit. Okay, that looks nice. Then the orange affects the skin. The yellow and the orange affects the skin. So we want to that until I fix the screen first. So let's go to the screen first. So if you select this, you selected color range, it will desaturate other colors in the image that is not selected. So for this image, you just see that the skin is the only color selected in the image. So you can see it. All I will have to do is look for the uniform view that I want to work with. So, this is nice. Then, use my light lens a bit. And uniformity slightly. So this gives you a bit. And this is a uh, 
Okay, as you can see, the image is looking different than the matrix. This is the before, and this is the after. This is the before, this is the after. Okay, this is better. So all I do is Go to the basic and adding more of saturation, maybe to the orange, then the yellows, I can just pop it up slightly. So the image is looking more like it. In my color balance, I will just add a little blue in my shadows. In my midtones, I will add orange. In my shadows, I'll add a little blue. Just slightly. My mid-tones, orange is fine, then highlight, same as orange to complement the blue shadows. So that's it. Went from this to this. So I'll take the image to Photoshop and start a touching the scene in the next video.